I was given a ball in the head yesterday. It's a Japanese one. It's quite a nice one. Quite a big one as well. A lot bigger than the a lot bigger than the one I've got. The one I've got, I got given as well. It's a, a cheap Chinese one. This one actually had a, a tool welded into there when I got it. Uh, I've repaired it. It does work. Well, this one here, it's obviously got a. I think it's a 30 or a 40 international taper as opposed to the to the R8 taper. So I think what I'll do, I'll take this off, and just bolt it on, and I'll see what I can go about making an adapter to make this R8 so it'll fit my milling machine. Just held on with four cup heads. Right, the old end have been used. Looks like it's not being used. Right, so that register there is a bit that locates it. And all the boards do is drive it. Now, what I have got, I've got a, a Chinese chuck. The chuck's absolutely useless, but it has got an already adapter on it. Looks like there's a hole straight through, so we should be able to drive the, drive the adapter off. Wasn't even, wasn't even tight. Right, so we've got a, that'll be what we call a Jacob's taper on there. But what I intend doing, is duplicating that bit there, probably turn that parallel and put some threads on, machine the boss, screw it on, and then machine the boss on here between centers to fit into that boring head. I'm not sure how hard that'll be if I can machine it or not. It's not hard, it's your machine. It's not soft, but it's not hard. Clock on and see how, see how good it is or how bad it is. Probably within quarter of a thousandth, quarter of a thou on there. Quarter and a half a thou, no more than that. Yeah, it seems like it's got a machine all right. What we'll do, we'll turn it parallel. Don't sit down the size and then we'll put a thread on it. I've turned this shaft parallel, it's now 18mm, so what I'll do is I'll screw cut this 18mm. What I need to do is put a recess on the end for the for my screw cutting tool to drop into 
Now this part of the shaft here is very hard. That would be enough, that parting tool has actually done a, quite a nice job. Right, so we'll set this up and cut it 18 mm thread. And I'm going to screw cut the boss, it goes onto it so I can make it 18 by 18 by whatever I want. I'll probably make it 18 by 1.5. I would have liked it on a 3 quarter A1F, but it, it went down to 18 mm before it before turned parallel. 18 mm, 708 thou. That is 700 So what I'll do, I'll leave that alone now and I'll machine the big boss and I'll put some threads in there and then I'll screw cut this to match the threads on the boss because it's always easier to screw cut an external thread than an internal thread. I'm just going to rough out the, the flange and use the fade your chuck. I'll have to change the jaws for what they call the external jaws or reverse jaws. The chuck needs cleaning anyway, so now will be a, a good time to do it. Simply screw out. The easiest way is an airline. Make sure you've got eye protection on. Just blow all the the chips and swap them. The jaws are marked one, two, and three. We start off at number one jaw. You wind it round. So you see the start of the scroll come round. There it is there. That's the part that actually pulls the chuck jaw in. So that's number one. You need jaw number one. Which is that one. Which again Simply slots into there like that, turn your chuck till you feel it start. Turn it round, number two. Once again, there's your scroll. So, jaw number two. That one started, number three. That's it, some all in. The way the way they should all meet in the centre. It looks like they're going to do. That's it. You can obviously can put bigger things in with the external jaws, but you've got to make sure that you have plenty of jaw locked in. I wouldn't go much further than that. I don't know if I can have thrown the world but I would like to put that back in off by hand. Could have done with another a little bit wider material, but that's that's all I've got, so it's gonna to have to do. It's got a little bit of run up, but it's not bad for a, a small bandsaw. 
all we'll do, we'll, we'll face, face that wall face, centre drill it, and then decide exactly what thread we're going to put in. I'm not sure what sort of steel this is, other than it was free and it's shiny. So you are very slightly blue the centre heat there. That's better. Not better enough though. I had a coach at the a few years ago and I was left with a lot of big tooling, like three quarter square tooling. So what I did with it, I bolted it onto a piece of cave steel, then I milled a dovetail in the back. So instead of using the tool holder, the tool actually is the tool holder. So that clamps straight onto my tool post. And I've got quite a few tips left for it. And the idea for a real heavy rough turning. You've got, a, you've got a tool there and a tool holder. Well, on this one here, the actual tool is the tool holder. I've done quite a few of them. There's another one there, that one's been welded on. There's another one. Just a tool with a dovetail machined out. That goes straight on, has no overhang, nice and tight. <laughs> 